hey guys welcome back to a new video so yesterday we solved this problem if you haven't watched that video you can check out that so today we are going to solve this problem let me open this problem so let me increase the size a little bit not that much okay so if you can see the problem given a two strings s and t return true if it is an anagram of t is an anagram of s and false otherwise yeah so anagram is basically a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of the given word typically all the original letter uh, occurs exactly once okay yeah so we have an example anagram of t because if we can rearrange this t into this s so that's why it's true we cannot rearrange rat into car because there is a t which is not present in this yeah so yeah that's the basically a problem and this is the constraints we all have like lower case english alphabets yeah so first what we can do is we can solve directly like this we can uh, like sort s dot we can basically sort all both these uh, strings Let me just quickly write the code. Yeah, and then we can return if s equal equals to t or not. So let me check if it works or not. Yeah, it's working for this case. Let me check for other cases as well. Yeah, this works for other cases as well. So let's see uh, what it does. It, it just like we have like this example. Let's take this one. Uh, so we have S equals to red and T equals to car so basically sorting does is it will sort it uh, like geographically so it will be like s after sorting this will look like this s will be uh, a r t s t r s t yeah and this will be t will be a c r so if we compare these two strings uh, it will be not equal so it will return false here so that's why uh, that's how it will work now the uh, time complexity for this will be uh, like depend on the length of these so let's say the length of this is m then the time complexity will be uh, m log m and for this if it is let's say n then it will be n log n so overall time velocity will be the maximum of both of the so that will be the time velocity so can we solve uh, it in a better time velocity yes so let's see that if what we can do is we can have a frequency array we can create a vector or an array of let's say name it frequency which will be of length 26 because we have 26 alphabets in english language and this frequency array will store the frequency of all uh, these uh, all these characters uh, present in these uh, let's say we will do it for this s we will increase the frequency according to the character 
and what we will do is we will decrease we will iterate over this and we will decrease the frequency and at the end we will check if uh, the frequency of each character is zero that is uh, if it is updated by this uh, or let's say word then it get nullified or decreased by this character so uh, if it if they are both equal or the number of letters or the uh, characters in them are equal then all the uh, elements in this will be zero so that will be our true case otherwise if we get any other uh, frequency value then it will be uh, a false case so let me write here uh, how this gonna work for this let's say let's try run for this for this let's say this will have like zero 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 and we are going to maintain the index by like we can so th all these are English alphabets so what we can do is we can uh, uh, subtract let's say C, uh, let's say the character at is position C so we can uh, uh, subtract A from them so that will give us an integer that will be uh, the index here uh, yeah so here 0, zero means A and 1 means B and uh, 2 means C and so and so forth so for this uh, let's let me write the character for the convenience to understand a b c uh, we have like uh, a r t and c so let's say a c. let's say we have like here after dot 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 let's say 0 and this will be r and let's say this will be S. This will be R, and this will be S, and this will be T. Okay. Uh, now, if we iterate over S, we will increase the corresponding value. So, in the first index of this S is A. So, we will increase the frequency of A. Then it is R, so we will increase the frequency of R. And then this is a T, so we will increase the frequency of T. Okay, so that's all will be zero. Now what we will do, we will iterate over T and we will decrease the corresponding frequency. So first is A, so we will decrease uh, the frequency by one. And then is C, we will decrease the frequency by one, it will become minus one and then there is an r we will decrease the frequency and it will be, will be um, zero now after that we will, what we will do we will iterate over all these 26 values and we will check if there is a non-zero value if there is non-zero value we will return uh, false from there if all those values are zero we will come out of the loop of this 26 correct uh, 26 elements and then we will at the uh, at the very end we will return true because there is all those values in this are zeros. That means uh, our our S and T word matches, or they are anagram of each other. Yeah. So let me just quickly create a frequency vector of int. Let me write it freak and initially all we will is will be 0 and there will be it the length of this vector will be 26 so what what we can do is we can just iterate over all the characters in this uh, s and what we can do is we can just uh, so c minus as i told you will give us the index and we will increase and for the other t we will c minus a and we will decrease now for auto i or uh, let's say element in uh, in this frequent if 
if element is equals not equals to zero we will return false from here itself otherwise we will return true let's check this so there is an error let me check yeah i guess we this should be 26 and the values corresponding to that will be zero yeah and also we have to add m percent here it will save us also here just one more check yeah let me submit and try this yeah so that's working so now the time complexity will be so this will be a for loop over this so this is let's say m and over this let's say this is n and yeah this is also a for loop it will be always 26 because we have set this so the time process will be maximum all of these three so it will be definitely less than uh, m log n whatever n log n which will be maximum yeah so yeah so that's how we solve this this is more optimal solution uh, if you like the video please share among your friends please hit a like and also consider subscribing i will upload all these videos daily yeah so yesterday we solved that problem and today we solved this problem i just marked this as tick and yeah so tomorrow we will solve this problem so consider subscribing and i will see you in a next video